Hello baby birds. Today we're going to be doing another exciting lesson about circles. Now today we're going to be discussing this theorem up here, which simply states, in a circle, parallel chords intercept congruent arcs. Now what does that mean? Well, if you remember what a chord is, it's a line segment whose endpoints are on the circumference of the circle. So that means AB is a chord and CD is a chord. Now, if I know that these two are parallel, AB is parallel to CD, then I know that arc AC is going to be congruent to arc BD, which makes sense. Let's take one more look at that. If we look at this circle over here, okay, if I know that this chord is parallel to this chord, and we mark that with these little triangles or arrows, then I know that this segment right here right over here, is going to be congruent to this segment or arc over here. So I could say that these are congruent. Well, let's look at two problems, and then you're on your own. So let's take a look at this one. In the diagram below of circle O, chord AB is parallel to chord CD. Well, before we even look at the answer choices, why don't we just state what we know? Well, if we know that these two are parallel, put our little markings, if we know that this is parallel, AB is parallel to CD, well then I know that arc AC is going to be congruent to arc BD. So we could write that arc AC is going to be congruent to arc BD. And we just have to look for that in the answer choices. Now if I look through these, well, look, there it is. We know that these two arcs are the same and it happens to be our first answer choice. Simple. But let's take a look at the wrong one, just so we understand why these can't be the answers. This one says that arc AB is congruent to arc CD. Now arc AB is up here, and if we look at that, that would be arc AB is congruent to arc CD. First of all, they don't even look the same. Second of all, that's not a proven theorem, so that could be canceled out. The second one says that chord AB, this line right here, is congruent to chord CD. Now, if these two are parallel, it does not mean that they're the same. You could draw a circle right here with two lines, two chords, this chord and this chord, which are parallel, but obviously they are not the same length. So we could take this guy out. And this one says arc ABD that's this whole thing over here, is congruent to C, B, D, which would be C, oh, C, D, B. And once again, that is not a proven fact, so we can cancel that one out. All right, let's take a look at number two. In circle O, shown in the diagram below, chords A, B, and CD are parallel. So once again, we know that these two chords are parallel. If the measure of AB, the arc AB, is 104, so that's the arc right here. This is 104. So we know this arc is 104 degrees. Okay? And the measure of arc CD, which is right here, is 168 degrees. What is the measure of BD, which is right here? If you look at it, it's this arc right here. Well, how are we going to do this? Well, luckily, I'll tell you. What we know is that the whole circle, if you remember, all the arcs, if you add them together, should add up to, well, how much in a circle? 360 degrees. If I want to find out what these two missing pieces add up to, I'll just subtract 104. So I'm going to subtract 104 degrees from the 360. And I'm going to subtract 168. Now, if I subtract these two, that will tell me what the remaining part arcs are. So that would tell me what AC and BD together would be. So let me take out my calculator because I don't feel like doing this in my head. So 360 minus 104 minus 168 
equals 88. But that is not the answer. Don't go down and mark this. Whoop. You would be dead wrong. That means that AC and BD, these two missing pieces, both would add up to 88. But that's not the answer. We just want to know what BD is, this part. And since we know that these two are congruent, what we'll do is take 88. And since they're both equal, I can cut it into two. So divide by two, and that will tell me my answer of 44 degrees. Whoop! Right here. Now just to go over through that one more time, we know the whole thing is going to add up to 360. So we subtracted this arc. 168 and this arc 104 and that left us with these two arcs AC and BD that tells us if we subtract those from 360 that tells us what these two remaining arcs will add up to since both of them add up to 88 we divided it by 2 and that told us the final answer which we're just looking for BD is 44 and that is how it's done that's all for this lesson and remember kids respect your parents do your homework and drink lots of milk unless you're lactose intolerant. Goodbye for now.